people welcome back in the second video of list rendering and in this lecture we are going to learn what we have in previous lecture so we will talk about how you can use template with v4 then we will see how we can use range with v4 and then array methods and etc etc so let's get started first of all let me show you how you can use range with v4 and just ignore this js part which have items which is array of objects so let's first start with how you can use range with v4 so i will write span and then our v4 for loop and in here i will use i which will be my iterator variable in let's say i want to iterate over 10 number or 5 number so I will write 5 and these will iterate over 5 numbers let's find out so I am looping 5 times and I am printing that I now let's run it and we are getting 1 2 3 4 and 5 now in here when you are looping over you can also do operations like if I want to start it from 0 then I can minus 1 and it will start from 0 just like an index so this was how you can use v4 with range now next let's see how we can use template with v4 for that obviously we need ul first then li then v4 and now I'm going to use that items so I will use item so I will write item in items so it will iterate over single item now to output this message I will just have to write the message as we practiced earlier oops it should be item dot message and it is printing message now let's say instead of this li which is one element I have a bunch of stuff like in here I also have icon let's say currently I don't have it so what you can do how we can use this loop on both li I mean li's content and icon for this we will use template so let's change this to template tag both files so both of them are now template and in here I will use li perfect we have ul and inside that we have template which will iterate over items and that will contain our single ally which can hold whatever you want and did you get why we use this template and why we need that now next thing I want to show you is let's build to do f first or it will be fine let's just don't go over to do okay let me first show you adding and removing items from array and all that so I should go back and okay so we are backed up So I have two buttons add and remove the first one will add this message hey to this list and second will remove last item so let's add now okay it is working and as we use push method on that items array our list re-renders and gets us latest update and now if I remove it it is reactivity of data now let's go over filtering now let's say now we don't need this button okay now let's say instead okay we have to go over to do because that's the simple example buy and pay 
now what I want to do is let's just add some task all right by pay and eat it is also a task okay and my pay part is done now what I want to do is I only want to render task which are not finished so I can do ve task dot is completed which will gives us true or false from here but I want to display only unfinished task so I will use this which will give me buy and eat which are not completed but this is not prepared way to do this instead you have to create a complete property which will take this task property and create a new list for you or I can say array and now if we run this and before running that let's just now we don't need this we if because we are getting new property which is filtered task and then task okay so something is missing okay it should be filtered and we have created new complete property if you don't know JavaScript ES6 then this complete property part may look confusing but what I did I filtered all the task which is finished so it only gives me unfinished task and then in our HTML I am looping over that filtered task and I am displaying that task task okay so that's it if you have any questions don't forget to comment I am here to help you see you in the next and one more thing and from the next lecture we will learn forms interesting and don't forget to subscribe to the digital site